action. Hi, today we're going to show you how our family makes Easter eggs from fresh chicken eggs each year. So to start off, Maribel's going to show you the eggs that we make and tell you about some of her favorites. This one is my favorite because it has these pretty colors on it and they really look good together. And then we have this one. It looks nice. Store on the top. This one looks like mountains. With we have this pretty one, it looks like springtime. And it has like little flowers on it. And this one is really pretty because it has these swooly little S's on it. And we have this one, my <laughs> nicest one. Okay, so to get started, the first thing we do is we have chickens, so we start with chickens right out, uh, eggs right out of the chicken house. And so they're often a little bit dirty um, and certainly not something I wanna put my mouth on. So I put them into a little bit of bleach water solution, just a splash of bleach in some water. And I soak them for a few minutes. And then we have a little egg brush that we use for our eggs. And I just scrub them all over and give them a rinse and then they're nice and clean. And I set them on a towel so they won't roll away. And then what we're trying to do is all of our eggs are hollow so that we can keep them forever. And we use our eggs for um, an egg hunt every year. The Easter Bunny hides them for us and the kids find them in the morning. Um, and it's a nice kind of keepsake because um, we each make one egg every year and then over the years we have an egg from everyone in our family each year. So what we're trying to do is hollow the eggs out so that they keep forever. And even when they're hollow, they're amazingly durable, just so you know. Um, and so what we're having to do is poke a hole in each end of the egg and then we blow the egg out. I use a mason jar because then we use the eggs for scrambled eggs or quiche or, or baking. So um, I just... I take an egg, and you might wanna come get in real close here, Silas. And so um, I usually make the bigger hole on the fat end of the egg and the smaller hole on the top. And so I use a pin, a nice sturdy pin works really well. And what you're doing is just very carefully poking a hole. And on the top side, the hole is a little bit smaller. I don't know how well you can see that with the light. Um, doesn't have to be very big. It's, you know, maybe a centimeter across on the top. So you can see that's what I've made on the top. And then on the bottom, <clears throat> I'm a little bit more careful because when I blow the egg out, because we eat this egg, it's important to me that we don't end up with um, shell in it. And so the way that I do that is I actually sort of trace a little hole. And you do have to be careful. I actually just cracked the end of this because I was pushing it into the counter. So you have to be careful not to push it down into the counter. Um, I sort of perforate a little hole around in a circle with little pinholes. This hole's a little bit bigger. So it's maybe two or three centimeters across. And then I pop out that little piece of shell so that um, it doesn't end up in the egg when I blow it out. So you can see I have a bigger hole on one end and a smaller hole on the other. And then comes the fun part that's not for everyone. Um, I put my mouth on the smaller part and you can see this is what happens. Okay, so I got all of the egg out, and then what I do is, um, to help 
you know, we've never had any trouble with our eggs getting yucky, but I like to just know that they're clean on the inside also. And so um, if you carefully hold your egg in the water with the big hole up, it'll very slowly get water inside. I don't fill it all the way up. I just get whatever, a teaspoon or so full. And then I give it a good shake to kind of clean it out. And then do the same thing over again and blow it out into the sink. And then um, an important trick for your next step is this is the egg I did earlier. There's no more water coming out. You have to balance them upright so that any water inside drains out. And that's important because what has happened in the past is somebody will be well on their way to having their egg painted and a bunch of water leaks out and messes up their pretty design, which is always sad. So you'll want to stand them on their end like that, leave them like that at least for a couple hours. We're doing ours ahead today and we're going to paint them tomorrow. So that's how you get started.